All right, so I was trying to purchase this book the other day, and apparently there is just no way to get this book without DRM. So everywhere I look that you can buy this book, they are all DRM locked, and there's nothing I can do about it, basically. Now, you probably already know what DRM is. It stands for Digital Rights Management, and it's what these big companies use to lock down books and other things like music or games. And it's basically a lock that you get on your file that prevents you from doing whatever you want to it. So I can't convert my ebook to a different format. I can't even read it on a different device if I really want to. And I really don't want DRM locking me out of my own book. Let's say I bought a book from Amazon and maybe I don't want an Amazon account anymore. Or maybe for some reason your Amazon account gets banned for whatever reason. Maybe I want to close out my Amazon account because I just don't like Amazon that much. They're not a great company. But since you bought your books from Amazon, they are all DRM protected. So you don't actually own any of them. I know you bought them, but you're basically leasing them from Amazon because they are only available to use inside the Amazon Kindle ecosystem. And if you want to step outside of that, well, tough luck because you bought from Amazon. And so I don't like Amazon telling me whatever I can do with my books. I want to be able to say what I want to do with my books. I want to be able to do whatever I want with them. I bought them. They should be mine. So in this video, I'll teach you how to remove all the DRM and basically take ownership of these books, which should already be yours. And these companies always use the rationale of piracy. Oh no, you could pirate the books and they could lose millions of dollars. But I just use this for my own personal use. I want to use my Amazon Kindle without Amazon spying on me, so I don't hook it up to any of Amazon services. I have a whole other video about that. And so I want to be able to put it on my computer, put it on my Kindle, or whatever device I want. Now in this video I'm going to teach you how to remove DRM from Amazon Kindle books. You can also remove them from uh, other places like Adobe Digital Editions, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you want to go explore that, you can. But since most people just read books on Amazon Kindle, I will teach you how to do that. And the first thing you want to do is you want to download Amazon Kindle for PC or Mac, whatever you have. But it can't be the latest version. As you can see, I'm not on Amazon.com because the latest versions of Kindle for PC just make it very difficult for you to remove the DRM. They use more modern file types that basically make it harder for you to remove the DRM. So what we're going to use is an older version of Kindle for PC. So there's a whole bunch of different options for different versions you can install. I would recommend Kindle for PC version 1.17 uh, or Kindle for PC 1.26. So 1.17 will probably be the easiest. The only reason I'm not using it is because it didn't work on my setup. For some reason it would just not work whenever I tried to log into Amazon using it. So we're going to be using version 1.26 and the only difference with version 1.26 versus 1.17 is it uses a different file format so we'll have to install another add-on to be able to parse those new file types. They're called KFX's whereas the file type used for these older Kindles is AZW. Okay but before I bore you with all this technical stuff let's just download the Kindle for PC. So I'll leave a link to this in the description but you know how it is with these things. Maybe they'll get taken down. So you can just find them anywhere online uh, just by searching old versions of Kindle, say 1.26 if that's what you want. And you're probably going to be downloading these from some pretty sketchy sites to be honest. You know the ones with like a, a million banner ads saying download here, download here. And so if you're worried about malware, what you can do is check the hashes for these to make sure that it's the authentic version of Kindle that you're expecting and that nobody's tampered with it. So first off, let's just download this. I have already gone ahead and downloaded this from this website. Like I said, I'll leave a link, but you might have to go and research it yourself just by typing in the search engine and finding it. But I've downloaded this and I now have it in my downloads folder. So let's just verify the hash just to make sure there's no malware on it. And we can do that by going to downloads. And then on macOS or Linux, you're going to use shasm-a256 and then the location of your downloaded file. So for me, it is right here, Kindle for PC 1.26. Let's hit that. And now you just want to compare this to the version over here. I'll also leave a link to this thread 
so you can see the correct hashes that you want to find. As we can see, this lines up with this, so we are good to go. But you just want to check that just to make sure. So now let's go ahead and run this program. If you're on Windows or Mac, I assume you know how to install this already. But if you're on Linux, then you're going to have to use Wine. So if you haven't already installed Wine, this is just going to be through your package manager, just Wine. I already have it installed. There's not too much setup and configuration you need to do, so let's just run Kindle for PC. Run this, and then the installer will pop up in a minute, and you can just walk through all of this like you would any other installer. Just click Next a bunch of times. Okay, so I'm not going to go over to install it. It's very simple. You just click Next a bunch of times and install. Wait for that to finish, and then this will pop up. There'll be a little window prompting you to log into your Amazon account, so you just go through that and then you now have your Amazon Kindle right here. Uh, let me just move this so you guys can see it a little bit better. But we have this over here. And so you just wanna download the books that you want to convert or remove the DRM from. So we're just going to right click and download this. Wait for that to finish. All right, now that we have the book saved to our device, now we need to use this program called Calibre to remove the DRM. So if you don't already have this, this is just going to be something you can find on the website, calibri-ebook.com. If you're on Linux, you can install it with your package manager. Otherwise, just navigate here and download it. Pretty straightforward. Once you have that installed, we now have this nice little program here, as you can see. And what we need to do is we need to install a couple of plugins for Calibre. So we're going to get the DDRM plugin right here, and that's gonna be in this GitHub repository. So I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. But you want to go to the latest release and just download the zip file right here. All right, that is downloaded. And if you are using Kindle 1.26 instead of 1.17, then you will need this additional plugin that allows you to read KFX files right here. Okay, so I have that downloaded as well. So let's open this up. Go to Downloads. And then we want to unzip this DDRM tool right here. Unzip here. And we have a new zip file right here that we're going to use to install. The DDRM plugin.zip. So let's just go into our Calibre. Preferences. Plugins. And then load plugin from file. So this is going to be the zip file. It's going to be DDRM plugin. Not the DDRM tools. So if you get an error, that's what's going on. You want to open this. I already have this installed. You can just click yes, it's trusted. I already have this there. And then yeah, if you're using Kindle 1.26, then you'll want to use this KFX input as well so it can read those. And once you've done that, just restart your Calibre so that the plugins will take effect. I've already installed the plugin, so I don't need to, I don't need to do that. And now we're going to add the book into our Calibre. Once you've restarted your Calibre instance, so if you're on macOS or Windows, I think it's going to be in your Documents folder under My Kindle Content right here. If you're on Linux, it might be under your .wine directory and inside Drive C, Users, your Documents folder in here. But for me, it was just put into my home directory, so that's fine for me. Let's go here. You're going to find a whole mess of these characters, but this is going to be the book that you just downloaded. And depending on what version you downloaded, this is either going to be an AZW file or a KFX file. Either one is okay, just click it, bring it in here. And this is a KFX format, so I can actually read that in my Calibre. So let's convert it to AZW3, which is a nice file format that I use for my Kindle. You can, of course, convert it to anything you want. But if this goes through, then the DDRMing worked. So let's wait for the moment of truth to see if this actually converts in a second here. And it works. So we can now click this AZW3 and we can now read this book to our leisure. So if the DRM hasn't been removed, then you'll get a giant message saying that it's DRM protected and you can't convert it. But as you can see, we can read through everything. So it worked. And finally, just as one note, if you already put a bunch of books in here and then you install the DDRM plugin, it's not going to work actually. So first you need to install the DDRM plugins and then and only then import the books. So if you already imported a bunch of books with DDRM, you can just go through and delete these, remove these from your Kindle library, or re remove these from your Calibre library, 
and then add them back. And only when they're being added back will they be stripped of their DRM. And if you are a Mac OS or Windows user, that is it. That is the end of the video. You have achieved your goal and you can now DDRM whatever Amazon books that you want. But if you're on Linux, then you might not be done yet. It might still have DRM. So go ahead and try it. See if the DRM has actually been removed or not. As I said, you'll get a giant notice saying if it's not. And that's because the way this DRM plugin works is the only way it can remove the DRM from your book is if it gets the decryption keys from the Kindle on PC or whatever you're using to download the books from. It's going to need to get the encryption keys from that. And it does that automatically on Windows or in Mac OS. But since we're using Wine on Linux, it's kind of a hacky way to do it. And so it doesn't necessarily automatically pull the decryption keys from the Kindle for PC. Now, in the documentation, they say that it'll try. So if it does work on Linux, then okay, no worries. But if it didn't, like in my case, the first time I installed this, it did not work at all. So you need to go and manually get the decryption keys. And so unfortunately, there's not really an easy way to do this. I tried a few different things, but the easiest workaround that I found is to just install Kindle inside Wine and then pull the keys from the Wine version of Calibre into the non-Wine version of Calibre. Uh, this might sound a little bit complicated, but let me just go over everything and show you how to do it. Okay, so first let's install Calibre for Wine. Now you do need a little bit older version of this. Let's go back to Calibre eBook and go to Download and then Windows because we're installing it under Wine. And you're probably gonna want an uh, older version of this for my wine, it couldn't install the Windows 8 and higher version, so I had to use, uh, which one is it? I have to use Calibre 3.48 from here. And I installed the 64-bit version of this. And then you would just do the same thing, wine, and then the Calibre uh, installer that you have right here. Go through and install that. And then you can now use Calibre under wine. I know I said this is a little bit complicated, but now we have the Wine version of Calibre, and so now we want to get the DDRM plugin for this version of Calibre. Let me move this over here. And so you can't use the latest one because this is only compatible with the newer versions of Calibre. So you want to go to All Releases right here, and then scroll back a little bit until we get to something compatible with older versions. Yeah, with Calibre 4.x and earlier. So that's going to be version 6.8.1. Download the zip for this, unzip it, and then uh, go to Preferences here. Install the plugin like you did the last time. Basically, you just have to do the whole process again inside this Wine version of Calibre. And of course, the KFX plugin as well if you're using 1.26 version of Kindle for PC. So I have installed both of these, the DDRM plugin and the KFX input. Those are good. I've restarted it. And now it automatically got the keys for me from the Kindle for PC. So finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into plugins, uh, get the DDRM plugin that I have. It's under file type plugins, DDRM, say customize plugin, Kindle for PC eBooks. And then you're going to have a default key right here or push plus if you don't have this. And then you're gonna to wanna to save this to a K4i file, which I have already saved right here. And then finally, after all of that, you're going to want to import this into your native Linux version. So that is right here. Um, preferences, plugins, same thing, file type, DDRM, customize, Kindle for Mac, PC, and then we want to import existing key files. Double click on this default key that you just saved, open it, and you are now done. Now every book that you import should be automatically DDRM'd. All right, and that's how you remove DRM from your Kindle books. It's kind of a process, but once you have it set up, then you can strip as many books of their DRM as you want, and you are now free with your books to do whatever you want with them. No more companies telling you what you can and can't do with your own property.